Hi, this is Austin with Radical STEM Tutoring, and today we're going to calculate the work done by a spring. Let's get started. Let's look at a block attached to the end of a spring, where the spring has a spring constant of 3 newtons per meter. To start, we'll hold the block at x equals plus 4 centimeters away from the resting position of the block. We're going to pull the block out to x equals plus 10 centimeters, and then release it. What we want to find is the amount of work it takes to pull the block from 4 out to 10 centimeters, and the amount of work the spring does on the block as it goes from 10 back to 0 centimeters, and back to minus 10 centimeters from its resting position. In general, the work done by a spring is equal to one-half k times the final x position squared minus the initial x position squared. To find the work as the block goes from 4 centimeters to 10 centimeters, we should start by converting our centimeters into meters to make sure that our units work out. That gives us an initial x position of 0 0.04 meters, and a final x position of 0.1 meters. Then, the work done as it moves from 4 to 10 centimeters is 1 half times the spring constant of 3, times the final x position squared minus the initial x position squared. And that comes out to 0 0.0126 joules of energy. When we release the block, its initial x position will be 10 centimeters, or 0.1 meters. Since we want to find the work done as it returns to its resting position, the final x position will be 0 centimeters, also 0 meters. And when we plug in those values, we'll get that the work done, going from 10 centimeters to 0, is negative 0 0.015 joules. This is negative because while the block is on the positive side of the equilibrium, the force that the spring puts on the block pulls it back in the negative direction. Now, going from an initial x position of 0 centimeters back to a final x position of x equals minus 10 centimeters, or minus 0 0.1 meters, we'll find that the work done on this part of the trip is positive 0 0.015 joules. Once the block is on the negative side of the resting position, the force from the spring points in the positive direction and does positive work on it. Notice that as the block went from positive 10 centimeters to minus 10 centimeters, the net amount of work done was actually zero. We can verify this by using a final x position of minus 10 centimeters and an initial position of plus 10 centimeters, or we can add the work done from the previous two steps to also get zero. Because the net amount of work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy, what we can infer from this is that the change in kinetic energy from plus 10 centimeters to minus 10 centimeters overall was zero. That is, whatever velocity it had at plus 10 centimeters, it had the same velocity at minus 10 centimeters. Since we released the block from rest at x equals plus 10 centimeters, that means it once again has zero velocity once it reaches x equals minus 10 centimeters, until the spring pulls it back towards the center again. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and share it. And remember, you can book an online tutoring appointment with us right now through the link in the description. Have a radical day.